The Prachand is a 5.8 ton, low observable LO design with reduced visual, oral, radar, and infrared IR signatures. It features canted panels for lower radar cross section and an IR suppressor for low IR signature. The helicopter has a maximum speed of 275 km per hour, 148 knots. The helicopter has a combat radius of 500 km and is capable of high altitude warfare with an operational ceiling of 16,000 to 18,000 feet or 5,490 meters. Prachand stub wings armament booms have four weapon attachment stations, two on each side. Each station can carry ATGM or rockets or air to air missiles. It has fixed armor plating on the sides and crash worthy landing gear for better survivability. The LCH Prachand contains approximately 45% indigenous content by value, progressively increasing to more than 55% for the series production version. The Prachand is equipped with an electro-optical pod consisting of a CCD camera, FLIR, laser range finder, LRF and laser designator LD giving the attack helicopter the ability to detect and acquire targets day or night. The air-to-air -air capability of the Prachand has proved to be eerily prescient. The developers of the combat helicopter appear to have foreseen the advent and lethality of combat drones in the battle space in a manner and to the extent that escaped Indian Air Force and Indian Army leadership. On January 17, 2019, the Prachand successfully engaged a moving aerial target with an air-to-air -air missile at the integrated test range at Chandipur, Orissa. The air-to-air -air engagement was the first ever in the country by any helicopter. No other helicopter with the military services in the country has so far demonstrated such a capability. Notably, the air-to-air missile capability is based on AO and helmet sighting system. HAL didn't announce which air-to-air -air missile it had used for trials but earlier reports had referred to the MBDA Mastral 2. However, since the missile is optically aimed and the weapon system computer source code is ours, any optically air-to-air -air missile with an optical seeker could be integrated. The anti-tank capability of the helicopter is based on the Helena ATGM, which can engage targets between 500 meters to 7 kilometers in range. Helena features a 640 by 512 PXFPA focal point array IAR imaging IR seeker. In simple terms, that means the Helena seeker can image the target, not just detect it, giving the missile the ability to recognize a target and ignore other heat sources in the vicinity of the target. The Helena always uses LOBL lock-on before launch tracking making it a fire-and-forget missile. Once the electro-optic system of ALH identifies the target, it automatically hands over the target to the missile. For anti-infantry operations, the Prachand is armed with a chin-mounted 20mm turret twin-barrel gun, cluster bombs or 68mm rocket pods. The 20mm cannon on the Prachand is known for its accuracy and high muzzle velocity. It is slewable with either pilot's helmet-mounted sighting system, allowing it to look and fire at targets around the aircraft. The 68mm rockets can be fired at targets up to 6 km, even if not within the line of sight. The LCH Prachand is fitted with a self-protection suite consisting of radar, laser missile approach warning systems and countermeasures, flare, chaff dispensing systems. The suite was to be acquired from a foreign vendor. In its current form, the Prachand is a capable platform for day or night operations in the uncontested or lightly contested battle space. In many ways, the Prachand is better suited for counterinsurgency operations than regular peer-to-peer -peer combat. However, it's a platform that can eventually be made formidable through the addition of the capabilities to operate in low visibility and engage adversary targets at standoff ranges well outside the manpad's envelope. The presence of Vishorad's very short-range AD systems, including manpads, on the battlefield dramatically reduces the effectiveness of combat helicopters. High attrition from Vishorad can reduce cost-effectiveness and erode morale. Using standoff weapons is only possible if target coordinates can be obtained in real-time. For this, the launch platform must feature reliable networking capability that allows target coordinates to be received by the weapon system computer in real-time from a ground-based observer or UAV. In the days ahead, the DRDO would need to develop standoff missiles with more than the 7km range of the Helena. Also, the IAF or Indian Army will have to deploy drones in large numbers for surveillance and targeting.
The drones and combat helicopters would have to be networked. It needs to be understood that these are not futuristic requirements. They are requirements that should have been addressed a few years back. Our combat helicopter crews will have to deal with many advanced man pads. The Indian Army has articulated the need for onboard fire control radar FCR to overcome the operational limitations of electro-optical sensors. The Army is open to acquiring the FCR from indigenous or foreign vendors. In conclusion, it can be said that the operational induction of the Pruch and LCH is a milestone event that should stoke innovative operational thinking amid the leadership of the Indian Army or Air Force. It's proof that the DRDO can deliver operational systems at par with what is available abroad. The military leadership must push the Ministry of Defense or DRDO for follow-up development of long-range attack missiles, sensors, including radar and networking capabilities for the Prachin. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.